Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how the search option in Radio Boss works. So for something so simple, or it sounds so simple, it's not that fully um, explained when it comes to the manual. So in this video, I wanted to show you how it works, because pretty much when you open up Radio Boss, you have it as an option right here next to the file explorer. You've got the little magnifying glass and then the scheduler and the equalizer. But when it comes to this point right here, a lot of clients ask, how does this work or how do I get it to work? So I'm going to be talking about this a little more in this video. So first things first, what we're going to want to go ahead and do is we're going to click here on folder. Normally it's on library, but we like to choose folder. We're going to click folder and let's say we're going to click on the folder icon and we have a folder selected already preset new music and I'm going to click select so it automatically assigns it here. The way this search option works is if you don't want to add all of the songs, let's say you've got an, a folder with 1500 songs. And you want to add just certain songs to the search option. You don't have to go one by one looking at them and searching for them. Radio Boss can do it for you when you assign the folder here like we just did. I have, for example, let's, let's type in Alex. So it'll show me all of the songs that have Alex in the title. And I can just select them and add them to the queue. And if I right-click them or I just double-click them, they automatically start playing. So Radio Boss automatically just searches for the songs in the folder with the title, the title we, or the text, I guess I should say, that we enter, and it automatically just looks it for us, and it tells us, hey, these songs have this artist name in it. You can go ahead and add them, and then it pretty much, if we move this over here, you've got the artist, the title, the duration of the songs, the play count, the last played, things like that. So it's very important as well that the songs aren't just, for example, if you download them off YouTube, they don't just say YouTube to MP3, things like that. They just say pretty much the title of the artist. They have the metadata has to be pretty much intact to look these songs up. So this is why, for example, I chose Alex and pretty much it shows us here. Alex Campos has these two songs in the folder and um, we can go ahead and just select them. We can double click them and it'll add it to the queue or we can just pretty much highlight them with our mouse and drag both to the queue. So this is basically how you can add music to Ready Wasp in a simpler way without you having to add pretty much all the songs and delete them one at one or look by, you know, one by one, look for them, you know, and say, hey, I want to add this artist and do it, you know, one by one. You can basically just do it here by selecting the folder, clicking on select folder. It'll tell us, hey, you know, these artists have this song pretty much in this title and I want you to go ahead and add them. So this is our pretty much, um, this is a simpler way to add music without having to do it one by one if you have a whole folder of 1500 songs. If you have any questions or comments, sorry about that, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And we're happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.